I remember uh, when I first went to Japan, walking into a Japanese skyscraper in Tokyo, and the company was a package goods company, and in the lobby was, of all things, a motorcycle in a glass case. And I looked at it while I was waiting to go upstairs, and it was composed of a patchwork of parts, all carefully waxed and polished, but no two parts seemed to be alike or to be matched. And when I got upstairs, I asked the chairman, how come a food company has a motorcycle? And he said after the war, he sustained himself and his family by fishing in the river adjoining where he lived. And he caught extra fish and distributed it to the community. And it became a popular thing to do, and people were willing to pay him for it. And he realized that he might have a business here, but he had no way of expanding his range beyond where he could walk. So he scoured the ruins and put together this motorcycle of many different parts and used the motorcycle to ride to adjoining communities. And he said it performed poorly because he had done a bad job of assembly, but he said it was his saving grace. When I sat there on my motorcycle, he said, I was naked and exposed to my market. I had no place to hide. People who were my customers came up to me and they waved the packages of my processed fish in my face. And they asked me, why are you doing it this way? Why aren't you doing it the way I prefer? Why aren't you using these products? Why aren't you using these methods? Why aren't you giving me what I want and what I need? And he said, I don't know what you want and what you need. And they said, you do now. And he went back and fulfilled those needs. And then he looked at me wistfully for a moment. And he said, today, my son, whom I am grooming to take my place, rides to the market in our Lexus. And he said he looks out the windows that are smoked so that people cannot see in. And he looks at our market from that perspective. And he sees not the actual customer, but he sees the people who run the businesses that sell to our customer. He never gets down to the level that I had to be at where I could not separate myself from my market. He said, this is a great loss. And he said, I still look at that motorcycle. And that's the reason it's there every morning when I come in. And it reminds me of the heritage of our business is in women who serve our food to their families and that that is the genesis of our success. And he said, my son patronizes me by allowing the motorcycle to remain. But he said, to me, it is the beating heart of our business.